Hello everyone and welcome to Study IQ English. I am Joy C. Joy and in this video we will be discussing about the three major funds held by the government of India. These are Consolidated Fund of India, Contingency Fund of India and Public Accounts of India. These are the three major funds held by the government of India. We will get into the details of it. So these are the three funds, Consolidated Fund, Contingency Fund and Public Accounts of India. All of these three funds are mentioned in the constitution of the country. So this is mentioned in the constitution and these are the three types of funds. We will see the, these three in detail. First coming to the contingency fund of India. So contingency fund of India, from the name itself it is clear, contingency. This fund is created for a contingency situation or for a emergency situation. So contingency fund of India is for an emergency or for an unexpected situation. Now as we said this has been mentioned in the constitution under article 267-1 that is the provision for this fund the provision for a contingency fund of India has been made in article 267-1 of the constitution of India. The corpus of the fund is 500 crore but in the year 2020, 20, that is while presenting the 2021-22 budget, union budget 2021-22, a finance bill has proposed to increase its corpus to 30,000 crore. Now, what is the rationale behind increasing the corpus of this fund? The uh, rationale or the reason behind increasing the corpus is just to be risk free with any of the unexpected situation. In the year 2020, India or the whole world had to confront an emergency situation and highly unexpected situation called the COVID-19 pandemic. So 500 crore rupees would not be sufficient to deal with such kind of emergencies or such kind of unexpected situations. So that is the reason the corpus of the fund is uh, increased. The finance bill has proposed to increase it to 30,000 crore rupees. Now, it is in the nature of an impress that is money mentioned for a specific purpose. Now what is the specific purpose for keeping the contingency fund of India? The specific purpose is to meet emergency situations that is to meet the contingency situations arising in the country. Now president is the custodian of this fund. Uh, that means the contingency fund of uh, India is at the disposal of the president. On behalf of the president, secretary of finance ministry, that is the finance secretary holds the fund. This is very important. That is the finance secretary holds the fund on behalf of the president of the country. The fund is used to meet unexpected or unforeseen expenditure. So why or what is the reason the fund is? maintained. It is to meet the unexpected or unforeseen expenditure. Each state can have its own contingency fund established under article 267-2 of the constitution. So the constitution also provides for every state. If the state also wants to keep its own contingency fund, state contingency fund can also be maintained according to the constitutional provisions. So this is regarding contingency fund. Now the most important fund is consolidated fund of India. This is the most important fund of all the accounts and this fund is filled by direct and indirect taxes, loans taken by the government of India, returning of loans, interest of loans to be to the government by anyone or any agency that has taken it. Now with regard to cons consolidated fund of India, why it is called the most important fund for the government? The reason is that all the expenses of the government is met from this fund and all the revenue that the government recovers, all, all the revenue of the government goes into this fund. So that is why it is the most important fund. So consolidated fund of India, all the expenditure of the government is met from this fund and all the revenue that the government receives goes into this fund. So that's why it is the most important fund. Government meets all its expenditure from this fund. The government needs parliamentary approval to withdraw money from this fund. So government needs the parliament's approval. This is very very important and with this we will understand why do we need a contingency fund of India. See 
as we said consolidated fund of india is the most important of all the funds of the government of india all the expenditures of the government is met from this fund and all the revenue goes into this fund but the only condition is that in order to withdraw any money from the consolidated fund of india parliamentary approval is required this is mandatory according to the constitution now we know that there are three sessions of parliament there are three major sessions for the parliament in our country and whenever the parliament is not in session we call it as the recess of the parliament recess of the parliament when parliament is not in session suppose if an emergency or a contingency situation arises in the country at the time of recess of the parliament that is when the parliament is not in session if any emergency or any contingency occurs that time the parliament cannot be held on an immediate basis or on an emergency basis in order to approve the fund and the condition is that any fund to be taken from or any expenditure to be incurred from the contingent sorry consolidated fund of india requires the parliament's approval and in any situation if if a situation arises so that any emergency uh, fund needs to be taken if it is during the recess of the parliament then the only option left out is to keep a contingency fund to make it simple any expenditure to be incurred from the consolidated fund of india requires the parliament's approval and during the recess of parliament that is when the parliament is not in session if any such emergencies for any funds arises the government cannot take the funds from consolidated fund of india because parliament's approval is not there so during such situations the fund has to be taken from the contingency fund of india and that is the purpose why a contingency fund has been kept the purpose of contingency fund is to meet emergency situations or to raise finance for meeting emergency situations when the parliament is not in session and therefore fund cannot be taken from the consolidated fund of india i hope the idea is clear now the provision for this fund that is consolidated fund of india the provision for consolidated fund of india is given in article 266 1 of the constitution of india again a constitutional provision has made for the <coughs> consolidated fund of india each state can have its own consolidated fund of the state with similar provisions so same as the case of contingency fund every state state governments can also have their own consolidated fund the cag that is the controller and auditor general of india audits these funds and reports to the relevant legislatures on their management so cag or the controller and auditor general of india is responsible for auditing these funds under the consolidated fund of india and also the state government next is public accounts of india first thing that you have to remember regarding public accounts of india is that the fund that is kept under public accounts is not the government's fund that is the government is not the owner of this fund but instead government is only the custodian of this fund so government is merely the custodian <laughs> government is not the owner okay again public accounts of india has been mentioned in the constitution it has been constituted under article 266 of the constitution article 266 close to of the constitution all other public money other than those covered under the consolidated fund of india received by or on behalf of indian government accredited to this account we have seen that all the revenue or all the funds received by the government goes into consolidated fund of india so whatever fund doesn't go to consolidated fund of india will go to public accounts of india this is made up of bank saving account of various ministries and departments national small savings fund defense fund national investment fund national calamity and contingency fund provident fund postal insurance similar funds so these are the components of public accounts so these are the components and all these together makes up for the public accounts of india the government does not need permission to take advances from this account even though government is only the custodian and not the owner of the fund government does not need permission from parliament or any other body to take advances advances means loans why loans because government is not the owner government has to uh, borrow money from this fund 
each state has its own similar accounts so with regard to public accounts of india same way each state also has their own public accounts the audit of the expenditure from public accounts of india is taken up by the cag again auditing the public accounts is also done by the cag controller and auditor general of india so that is with regard to public accounts of india to sum up let's uh, come to three of these funds and compare all this so first one is regarding income consolidated fund of india all the revenue both tax revenue and non tax revenue goes to the consolidated fund a uh, contingency fund has a fixed corpus of 500 crore but as we said in 2021 22 budget a finance bill was introduced to increase it to 30000 crore rupees regarding public accounts public money other than those covered under consolidated fund of india that is all the public money which doesn't goes to consolidated fund of india will go to public accounts next is regarding expenditure all the expenditures of the government are met from the consolidated fund of india and it requires the approval of the parliament to meet any expenditure from consolidated fund of india a parliament approval is required coming to contingency fund of india this is kept in order to meet the unforeseen expenditure unexpected and unforeseen expenditure public accounts of india public money other than those covered under consolidated fund are included here fourth is uh, next is regarding the parliamentary authorization any fund to be withdrawn from the consolidated fund of india requires prior permission of the parliament so prior permission is required now regarding contingency fund of india since it is an emergency fund or a fund kept for emergency situation the president can dispose the funds without parliamentary approval but once the parliament comes into session the money that is taken from the contingency fund of india needs to be approved by the parliament that is parliamentary approval is required after the expenditure has taken place then regarding public accounts there is no need for parliamentary approval articles relating to these funds consolidated fund of india is covered under article 266 of the constitution contingency fund under 267 1 of the constitution and public accounts under 266 2 of the constitution these are the corresponding articles of the constitution with regard to these funds so this is briefly about three different kinds of funds that the government of india holds and this is a very important topic as well thank you so much for watching i wish you all the very best